I was raised by my biological mother for the first three and a half years of my life. I have vivid memories of physical abuse and um, watching pornography and uh, being molested by a babysitter. And I, I do remember my babysitters a lot more vividly than I remember my mother. She wasn't around a lot. I was always with the babysitters. I remember even telling my mom one time she came to pick me up and I remember asking her, are you my mother? So my mother did finally decide to give me up at three and a half. You would think that that would bring some stability, but it didn't. <laughs> um, I think it made me even more confused about um, who am I living with. So I was adopted. My mother was, she was amazing. She's an awesome mother and totally took care of me. And like, I feel like she is my birth mother. I feel like she's my, um, like she gave birth to me. But my father, he, he took care of me financially, but he didn't take care emotionally. He didn't give us the emotional attention to me or my sister, um, who's also adopted, Kelly. Um, and he just, he wasn't there emotionally. He didn't ever really pay attention to us. Um, He's very absent from our life. Is there, but not there. I ended up moving in with um, an ex-boyfriend into his house with him. Um, for the first, you know, a few months, everything was perfect, and you know, we thought we were soulmates. And um, I was in love with him. He was in love with me. You know, he talked about marriage, and I want to marry you. And it was, it was very serious. And I remember the day that he came home and told me that he was in love with me, and in love with his ex-girlfriend, and that he wanted her to live with us. Um, he didn't want me to move out, he didn't want to break up with me, he just wanted me to be okay with her and me together in the same house, under the same roof. And um, at that point, <laughs> I was, in my head I knew this is so wrong and, you know, no girl should ever put up with this, no girl should ever, you know, what kind of girl would say yes? <laughs> so, not having her else to move, I stayed under the house and, um, you know, told myself, uh, I'm not... I'm not going to continue to give myself to him because I did. I, I lost my virginity to him. Um, I remember walking through the door and seeing them, you know, cuddling on the floor together and stuff. And just my insides would just like turn because <laughs> um, I'd given myself to him, you know. Depending on if she was at the house or not, I would sleep in his bed with him, but, you know, go back into the room. And so it was switching back and forth between the room and the living room floor to the room to the living room floor to the room to the living room floor um, off and on again like you know <laughs> you know like laundry or something it just got really bad I just started sleeping with anybody um, you know guys who were single guys who weren't guys who didn't speak English guys who were like 30 <laughs> it was just you know and I was like 19 it was just very out of control that was about the same time that my mother started sending this church I wasn't very close to her and I wanted to get close to her so I started following her to the church and I do remember the first couple of times that I went and I didn't like it because <laughs> I thought it was too big and everyone was like really happy I thought they were all being fake and that was about the same week that I met a past intern that had gone to the church. I really was able to open up to her about even the feelings I was having for, you know, this girl. She didn't judge me. She, she didn't even seem shocked. You know, she actually opened up about her life <laughs> and shared things that, you know, nobody shares with each other, you know, first couple times they meet. And I liked what I saw in her. I liked who she was as a person. And then she told me about the internship. I, I remember thinking, this is what I need if I'm gonna turn my life around. And I remember stepping through through the door at the intern house and I could feel peace as if it was tangible as I just remember crying because I had never felt peace. God actually totally blessed me in the last month in a very short amount of time helped me find my parents, my biological parents, and was reunited with my birth mother and then my birth father. God totally brought my life full circle and has just taken the bad things in my life and the years that the locust has eaten. The world called me um, a harlot, worthless, but God picked me up and, and told me, no, you have worth. You are so much, um, you are worth so much more than your, your living. He said that um, my value is far above rubies and pearls. He chose me from the foundation of the world before the world began and said this one will be mine and her name is Shauna.